Speaking of your name, it's attached to some of the best golf equipment ever. I mean, that has <coughs> been your desire since you started making golf equipment, to build right. the very best golf club, best golf ball, best golf bag. Right. How'd you... And we have the best association with the golf professionals around the world, not just here in the United States. Well, when you and think because of, of the things you said is the reason why we're in that position. Well, when you think of Ben Hogan golf equipment, you think of uncompromising quality. Right. How right. did that begin? Because that's the way Ben Hogan has run his life. That's exactly right. Well, when I started this company, I was back there uh, uh, making clubs myself, and right along with all, all, all the workmen. And if I had the time, I'd be right back there every day now, walking through the plant and watching them. And uh, uh, they know now how to make a perfect golf club, and that's exactly what we make. And we, would, we, we don't put out anything else except a perfect golf club. And there's so many things connected with perfection in a golf club that you wouldn't understand, and very few people would understand. It's a balance of the club, the flex of the shaft, where the, where the weight is located and why, uh, the grip size and the way the grip is turned on, on, the, on the club, and uh, 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 we do a lot of special orders here for people that are tall or short or long or fat or, or things like that, you see. And uh, uh, that's the reason why I think we're the best, and we're going to stay the best as long as I'm here. This dedication to quality, uncompromising <coughs> quality, and again, the way that Ben Hogan has run his life, mm -hmm. where did that begin? Who kept Ben Hogan on the straight and narrow? Who kept you from veering off? Well, I couldn't veer off because I had nothing, and I had to eat, and I didn't want to go to jail. They don't feed you very well in jail. <laughs> so. I had to be on a straight and narrow all my life, and I've loved it. 